Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a casserole. I have four pieces of chicken breast. I put half a beer in and uh, uh, half a uh, like a small cup of water just to dilute it a little bit. And I've used uh, this particular spice on the chicken. I found that you can buy it at Walmart and also what I did was I chopped up three mushrooms one celery stick and a little bit of green pepper just to give it some color and um, the chicken I'm gonna put in at 350 degrees for one hour and I'll do up two chickens in the pasta and I'll leave uh, two of the bigger pieces uh, as sort of a side dish now what I've done is I've boiled the pasta and you can see the water is at a boil so what I'll do is I'll add my pasta. This is two cups of pasta. I'll add this to the boiling water. And you want to set this for 10 minutes. So your pasta isn't overdone or overcooked. Uh, another thing that I'll be doing too as well is I'll be adding cheese. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my cheese grater so I just cut the cheese up into slices and what I'll do is I'll layer it uh, almost like a, a lasagna and then what we'll do is we'll put uh, crackers on the top uh, just to make it kind of hard and crunchy. Now when you when you put your pasta in don't forget to stir it around a little bit so it doesn't stick and leave the lid off because you don't want your water to boil over your stove and make a mess. So as you can see here, my chicken looks pretty well done. The skin is nice and crispy. And what I'll do is I'll put it on a plate and set it aside to let it rest for a little bit. And uh, we'll wait for our pasta to cook. It'll give it also too an opportunity for the chicken to cool down a little bit so you don't burn your um, your fingers when you're uh, chopping up the chicken into bite-sized pieces. Now what I've done is I've drained the pasta in a pasta strainer. If you don't have one you can separate the water and the pasta with a lid uh, and the pot in the sink just be very careful some of the pasta might spill out but that's okay and then what I've done is I've added uh, uh, cream of uh, cheddar cheese soup to the mix just to make it a little bit more creamier I've added our vegetables that I chopped up earlier you can add uh, anything you want you can put onions you can do uh, cherry tomatoes uh, the sky's the limit as far as I'm concerned there's no wrong way of doing this and I put a teaspoon of uh, pepper in it as well just to try to give it a little bit of a kick so uh, what I'll do next is um, I'll get a, a pan and I'll put this in a pan and what I've done too with the chicken is I've taken the skin off it. If just because me personally I don't like a lot of fat, I have high cholesterol, so I take the skin off. Uh, you don't have to. Um, it probably does add a lot more flavor to the chicken. And as you can see, the uh, drippings in the the uh, the plate are clear which means your chicken is done. If you see blood or something like that, you probably want to put the chicken in the oven for a little bit longer 
or even microwave it for a few minutes uh, just to make sure it's cooked thoroughly through. Last thing you want is to give someone uh, food poisoning. So what I'll go ahead and do now is I will uh, put everything in the, the, the pan and uh, we'll uh, begin to bake our casserole. So I put the uh, pasta in the, in the pan and uh, just uh, spread it out. And uh, what we'll do next is we'll add uh, some cheese and we'll add some uh, crackers as well. So what you want, what I've done is layered the cheese just like you would do a lasagna, only you're putting it on the top of the pasta and not layering it like a lasagna. Then I've taken Breton veggie crackers and uh, crushed them up and put them over the top of the casserole. And what we'll do is we'll set this in the oven for 350 degrees at half an hour and we'll be ready to eat. You can add a salad with this as well or uh, a rice dish or something uh, if you prefer um, so I'll put this in the oven and uh, we're almost ready to eat uh, this is the end result what I'm going to do is uh, since I've just taken it out of the oven I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes and then we'll plate. I've also done a salad as well. And I took a uh, pre-mixed uh, chopped salad that you can buy at Walmart. I added some bacon bits to it and uh, some of the leftover cheddar cheese that I uh, sliced up into even smaller bite-sized pieces. And I added a Caesar salad dressing to it as well and kind of mixed it all together. You can add things like tomatoes and green peppers, mushrooms, uh, anything that you uh, enjoy eating as a vegetable. Uh, the sky's the limit. So I'll stop it here and uh, once this is cooled, I'll plate one and show you the end result. And there you have it my uh, chicken casserole you can add more chicken if you want to it if you find it's not enough and you want it more uh, beefy for lack of a letter uh, sorry lack of a better word um, I find that this batch will probably do probably four people if you have people that are, are more hungry or you have a larger family, you might want to maybe double up on the recipe. Uh, it's a lot of trial and error and ultimately you need to find what works for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll do more videos on cooking as well. Talk to you later. Bye for now.